Well, there's a little bit of Second World War history uh, being built in a backyard on Vancouver Island. A man in Duncan has uh, built a replica bridge and tower from a German U-boat submarine that was surrendered to Canada and the Royal Canadian Navy in the Second World War. It has taken him nine months, even took him to Germany for research. CTV's Chandler Grieve boarded the replica today and has the story. One of the lookouts would be uh, standing on to scan the horizon, etc. It is something you rarely see underwater anymore let alone in a backyard. Yeah, well, this is this is kind of a first, I think. Uh, when we uh, envisioned this, um, um, I told my partner about it, and she said uh, it's something she's always really wanted, a submarine in her front yard, you know. But this is not just any submarine out on the yard. Already, this is the radar mast, which is, can be rotated. This is a part of history, a life-sized replica of the bridge and tower from a German U-boat 889, one of two subs that were surrendered to the Canadian Navy by the Nazis during the historic battle of the Atlantic of the Second World War. Well, I'm an ex-submariner, Canadian submariner, and I just love the idea of submarines and submarine warfare. Building a 1940s replica German U-boat? Well, it's not like building a backyard treehouse. No, this took George and fellow historian John Weber nine months to design and verify the drawings, and it even included a research trip to Germany. One of the difficulties building this, designing it, was that no two Type 9 U-boat bridges were the same. And so they're all very unique, and that's because they're all built different, different times, different places, and different periods, and during the war, everything was rushed. The construction of the sub started in the middle of June, and it's cost the pair $4,000, not including hundreds of hours of manual labor. Well, I always uh, make everything more than a hobby. <laughs> Now the history buffs are not satisfied with the U-889 just yet. Next summer, they plan to add a gun deck to the back of the sub that will extend to as far as these stairs. Eventually, they hope the sub becomes a place where the community can come enjoy it and also learn a little bit about the Battle of Atlantic, a battle that ultimately swayed the war in favor of the Allies. Canada had the third largest Navy at the end of the war. Things like the contribution that Canada made to the, to the war effort. Uh, I think I want to uh, explain that a little bit more. I can't. Smooth it off and paint. I can't. The pair say they are 95% done this year's construction and welcome the public to come view a piece of history from the Second World War right in our own backyard. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Duncan.